right, sit down, get this review over with because I've been painting the outside of this green cabin all day today. And yeah, just had a shower, so I'm ready for this now. So, Urban Chicken Ale, just based up the road from me in Ilkeston or Ilson, as some of you may know if you're from Derbyshire Way or even Nottinghamshire, obviously. But, um, <clears throat> Urban Chicken Ale, Darren, one of my good friends, met up with me a few times now, and I've actually had the pleasure of going around his um, CS setup um, a fair few months ago now. So, his new Hyperbomb Sabro. This is what I've got my hands on. Now, I got this from Adventure Beer, I think it was last week or the week before, um, based out of Nottinghamshire. They do all that at the local breweries, you know, ship all them out. Uh, I will leave a link down to their website below. You know, you may be able, I don't, you won't be able to pick none of this up because I've got the last can. Uh, I actually put two in the basket, but message at the end, there's only one left. So yeah, I've got the last can. Um, but I'm fair happy because Sabro is one of my favorite, favorite hops out there at the moment. It's just beautiful. So it's part of that Ilsa Merck range, 5.8%. That's all I know. Let's pop it open. So, got a nice pop, nice bit of a smoke, the carbonation coming out there nicely. But this has actually been in the fridge for about a week and a half. Um, but, so how cold it is, it is pouring a dream. And talk about milk, they went wrong there, will they? Whew. Bit light there, isn't it? It's me blessed with south facing back garden. Proper that. Um, right, what do I get on the nose? A big, big punch of tropical flavours. So burn pineapple and coconut there. So much. But I always get coconut from Subro. It's one of my main, you know, things. What I get on the palate, basically. Darren, cheers, my friend. Oh, bless you. That's heavily, heavily hot with Sabro. Oh, yes. There is a lot of tropical flavours, like we say. Um, but it's very dominant with coconut and lime. For me, anyway. You know, that pairs so well, doesn't it? Coconut and lime. That's what you need on a beach until, you know, just relax in here, maybe on the back garden. Good old not to give you. I have to drop it in, Darren. I do apologise. But yeah, very, very nice. Loving this so much. I'm hoping to meet up with Darren in a few weeks' time at the Nottinghamshire Beer Festival, Robin Hood Beer Festival. Um, I'm sure, I'm pretty sure he'll be there with his ales. Tastes dead nice. Tastes dead, dead nice. Um, you know it's 5.8% as well. You can feel it on the chest. Um, it's not like a hot burn or alcohol burn, but you just know it's there. It's got a lovely warmthness to it. Um, Colour wise, for a Merc, yes. It's like a proper, well it is, it's like a New England RPA style, isn't it? New England um, pale ale, basically. And that's exactly what it is. Um, what's heavily hot with coconut and lime for me. Uh, out of five, I will give it, oh, <laughs> I'll give it a solid 4.6. I really would, mate. Up there for me, I could quaff this back all day long. But 5.8% though, how much of it could I do? I don't know. <laughs> Lovely. That's one for me to try and recreate. <laughs> so nice. Um, I've had a fair few ales from Darren at Urban Chicken now. Um, try, try quite a lot of the range, <laughs> um, especially because the Venture Beer ships them out as well. That, yeah, that's probably the best one I've ever, ever had. It really is. It's one for you to rebrew down for sure, mate. Um, keep it in your core range if you can. I know he's just purchased two fermenters for his core range, you know, some proper um, murky fermenters. Pressurised, I think he's pressure fermenter, I'm sure he is with him. Yes. Top work, my mate. Thank you so much. And hopefully, catch you at the beer festival next month in October. Cheers, guys.